Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I am Rebecca Markov and today I would like to talk about five strengths that I would like to work on. Granted it's probably very difficult to come up with five strengths considering how perfect I am already but you know we have to come up with something. Did I really just say that? <laughs> Did I say it? Should I keep it? I don't know. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> But it's something that I thought would be a good idea given the fact that I've been struggling with mental health for quite a while and I'm starting to go into a more positive mindset recently but during a small period of time, um, which to be honest wasn't actually as much of a small period of time, it was a fairly large period of time to be fair, um, I asked for some ideas and somebody suggested, thank you Rachel, uh, top five strengths that I should work on and I think that would be a great idea because it would help me with my mental health and try to get me back on track with sorting out my mindset and getting into a positive uh, journey. So without further ado, let's hear number five. <laughs> So number five actually is kind of, it's really weird to say, but it's my confidence. And it's a different type of confidence where I kind of have this sort of mindset where I feel like I, I can't achieve something, like I don't believe in myself enough. I believe quite a lot of the time that I'm a clumsy person that I am just someone who's kind of mediocre average and not someone who is going to achieve massively great things. And I have kind of proven myself wrong with various uh, things that have happened. For example, uh, with my Instagram, I hit around about 800 followers and I thought that was about it. Um, really I wasn't going to go anywhere much further than that uh, because I don't know but I recently hit 10,000 followers. Now around about 800 followers I made this joke that I will promise to do a certain thing if I had hit 10,000 followers because to be honest I had no belief in myself that I would ever get that far. And it's not really all about the numbers and stuff, like, it's really great that I have such a supportive group of people, uh, like, almost like my own community, a family, um, and honestly, I appreciate all of your support, it's, I'm really grateful for it. But it's the fact that I didn't believe in myself that I would even get that far, that I felt like I wasn't really much of a person to follow in the first place, like, I just didn't believe in myself. Uh, same with my YouTube right now, is that we haven't hit 1,000, but we're pretty damn close. And that's another thing that I just thought I'd never get close to that number in, in the first place, but here we are, getting closer and closer to it. But another thing is just that I also consider my clumsiness a bit of a, a problem sometimes in my, in, in my head that if I became this big content creator that I'm going to say something stupid that might come across misinterpreted and then I'd be seen as some sort of horrible person and that's never that kind of person I'd ever want to be. Um, I don't want to be, I don't want to misrepresent myself and I'm scared about doing that like because any single thing could be taken twisted and turned into a poisonous kind of concoction to turn you into some evil villain. Do all villains have to be evil? I guess not. Maybe they, I don't know. Probably not. No. But yeah, so I always have this kind of fear. But I want to start thinking that I can believe in myself if I keep pushing and pushing harder and working harder. The fact that I hit 10,000 should be a big indicator to myself now that maybe I can go for 25 or 100,000. And with YouTube hitting a thousand almost, maybe going for 10,000 on YouTube. If I've done 10,000 on Instagram, maybe I can do 10,000 there. I feel like I need to start believing in myself a lot more and to not be concerned 
about these possibilities that could happen but it's not actually something to worry about at the time so yeah my confidence in myself my 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 belief in myself is something i'd want to work on number two kind of has a bit of a slight relevance to the first one where we were talking about how i'm concerned about my speaking and how people could misinterpret things um but one of the things I do want to work on is my speaking skills, my improv skills to actually talk and talk and talk and just keep talking even about the most utter random shit. I want to have that capability where I could probably one day stand in front of 5,000 people or whatever and talk and not be concerned about whether I'm going to be able to think of something to say because I will just naturally do it. And I am doing it right now. Like I am trying to talk about it as much as possible just to kind of keep the flow of things going. But that is something I want to work on more and more of because it is a skill that I really would like to improve. Also, I know that some people here love to just hear me natter on about anything and random stuff. So here you go. You've got your random stuff and nattering, so. <laughs> But yeah, I want to improve my improv skills, but also I want to kind of be able to just improve my my in-depth thinking. One of the things that I'm not good at sometimes is that if I want to talk about something, is it's that I can't kind of go further in depth and lead with examples and explanations as well. Like, I feel like with that kind of old uh, literacy or English lesson about PEE, point, example, explanation. I just feel like I'm always just stating points and I kind of want to improve that and be able to actually give some examples or actually just explain in a much more in-depth scenario, synopsis, <sighs> Also, maybe thinking of decent words also, because, yeah, I think synopsis would probably be the right word. I don't know. But, yeah, I want to be able to improve these skills with my speaking, where I can just speak right on the spot and keep going and talking about something, as well as be able to speak more in depth. Um, because, yeah, I do want to keep making content and if I want to be a bit more successful with my content creation I feel that I need to improve that skill. So yeah that is my second thing I'd like to improve. Number three I would like to start being able to kind of get energized with my work not just from just work in general but from my creation, my content creativity, I want to be able to start creating content and it to energise me more and more because there are some days where I do feel an absolute excitement uh, from making my videos and creating them, coming up with ideas, but sometimes, and I think this is probably due to my mental health as well, is that I have been struggling to come up with content and produce content uh, because I just don't feel up for it. I sometimes feel that I am putting too much uh, pressure on myself and I'm not uh, getting the kind of content quality that I sometimes want to achieve out and especially out in time out in time, out on time. I have this issue that I feel this immense amount of guilt and anxiety if I don't get a video done, especially before Thursday, because Thursday is my dedicated day where I try to get a video out. And if I can't, then usually I will try and do a live stream or something that is public, which I did do this week, thankfully, because yeah, I. I have been a little busy um, and falling behind again, but I am in a more positive mindset, so woo. But again, I'm. This is it's Wednesday now, and I'm making this video, but 
to be fair, I did have a job interview and I have been sick as well and I got the job as well, so but also, oh no, I got the job because now I, I currently work a 20 hour a week sh uh, uh, shifts, but now I'm going to be doubling that. So I'm going to be basically having more time consumed, but at the same time, I will start be working towards having my independence back. And that could either basically mean that my content is going to be even better or my content's going to be slower or both but hopefully also with a new job that I will be even more energized because it's a new challenge it's a new thing it's a massive new step in my journey because this would be my very first job that I've applied to as Rebecca where I am basically a fully grown woman who's now searching for her new life and it starts with this new job but yeah I would like more of my work not just my general work but my actual content creating work to energize me more and I need to come up with ideas and ways to kind of make it more energize uh, well energize me and make me feel more enthusiastic and motivated to keep doing and pushing forward with this stuff. One thing I noticed is that I am actually pretty good with my motivation if I have little mini targets and that is probably what I might do. I also kind of want to do a video on making targets, steps and stuff like that. I have talked about it on my Instagram but I think it could be dedicated to a whole video because I feel like this kind of method might help people in a lot of ways and I think it might even help me. Um, I don't know if it is actually a technique or if it's a strategy that people have already used or developed but it's basically taking a goal and then creating steps but usually people's steps are quite large steps that could take weeks or months or even longer and I don't see those steps as steps, I see those steps as staircases. So it feels very hard to achieve something when your little step is that long. So okay we need to start taking little steps up to achieve those little goals, to achieve the main goal. But yeah I think we can talk about that more in another video. So number four, the number four is actually I would like to improve my editing and filmmaking skills. Now it's a quite interesting because there are some things that I can do when making a movie or whatever, like a little video or whatever, and it's really hard to believe sometimes that there is actually quite a lot of people in this world who can't do what I do because I feel like it's just another thing that I just kind of picked up along the way making YouTube videos like it was no big deal to me but it turns out that actually not many people can do certain things that I do and especially with the editing software that I use I have to kind of go to some extreme lengths to try and create some of the effects that I have done in some of my videos but I've done it so yeah I feel like I want to improve my editing and filmmaking skills as much as I can because to be honest I've been using the same software for a very long time and I just feel like it's so basic that I should be trying to kind of take a step up so that I can like play around with my audio a lot more because right now my only method of editing audio is through Audacity and when I record audio it just it just goes straight into the editing uh, software and I can't really do anything with it apart from duplicate it um, make some fade ins or fade outs or make it faster or slower that's about it like I can't put echoes reverbs pitch changes I can't really do any of that so I feel like I want to kind of move on to new editing software and start learning again, sadly. Uh, but 
to make better content in the end. But the annoying thing about it basically is that you get into a habit, you've learned all these methods of what should be simple to me, like splitting and duplicating um, uh, tracks basically, or little snippets of videos and stuff. Doing that could be completely different to what I am used to and you know you learn hotkeys and stuff of how to get to do things quickly and efficiently. All of that's gone. You have to start all over again and work out how to do it again because it could be completely different. And that's one of the kind of annoying things is that basically you have to stop to and take a step back just to move two steps forward and that's really annoying I don't like that phrase because it's true damn you one step wait no wait the phrase is two steps forwards one step back <laughs> but we are taking one step back to move two steps forward damn maybe is there a phrase for that yet can we come up with a phrase for that like to unlearn something, or to basically relearn something which pulls you back to then uh, get better at something. There must be something, surely. Anyway, that's my number four, is that I'd like to edit my, uh, strengthen my editing and filmmaking skills. Number five. So, number five is going to surprise you because number five is I want to improve my Super Mario 64 speedrun and get a sub 20 minutes uh, 16 star run. Okay, that was actually a joke, so I, I'm actually going to stop there before I actually have to talk about my Super Mario 64 speed running. But if you are ever interested in that kind of stuff, then you know, I will do it more often on my gaming channel if, if you want me to. But I haven't been doing it frequently. But if people are more interested in me doing that kind of stuff, then I will do my best to tr like do that again. <coughs> But yes, not Super Mario 64 speedrunning. <laughs> Number five is actually I would like to improve my business mindset. I've always kind of wanted to consider starting my own business one day and I've come up with ideas along the way in my journey and there are some things that I'd like to work on and improve on but I don't have the set skills to actually even consider starting a business or the money to start a business, you know, it kind of like I'm already putting myself down before I've even started but I'm hoping that maybe as a content creator the more I keep growing and becoming more of an influence and potentially turning this into a, into a career that I could then start considering actually taking some business ideas and making them come true by reaching out to people myself um, and then kind of working with people collaborating and coming up with ideas and business models to start up a new brand potentially. And also I do struggle with, uh, with coming up with ideas as I've mentioned in... Uh... When did I mention it? Hang on. <laughs> I think I mentioned it in my third one. I can't remember in my third uh, about basically talking. I can't come up with ideas sometimes to actually... Actually, I might have mentioned it at the very beginning about talking about my top five strengths. I don't know. Like, basically, I sometimes can't come up with ideas. And that's a big problem. If you want to start a business, you probably need ideas, you know, because you want to be different from the rest of your competition. But, again, it also kind of correlates back to my first... Um, uh, thing that I want to work on because that would be my confidence and my belief in myself but if I can believe in myself more then maybe I can also start a business one day and that could be another potential thing that I would like to start be good at good be me but yeah I could see myself being a business gal like you know we're in the well, to be honest, in my new job, I'm going to be wearing like the office attire anyway. I'm going to be wearing the blazer and the blouse and stuff. But hey, what if I was wearing it because I was coming up with the ideas and bringing the ideas to the table and going, right, I got a new idea. We're going to start this 
and we're gonna do it here and this is how we're gonna do it and this is why and then like have like a full-on like screen right behind me I'd be like so on slide one if you can see right here <laughs> you know I could see myself doing that that'd be pretty cool anyway I've been talking for about 28 minutes and I am coughing like hell because I'm still suffering a little bit from a cold from last week where I was a bit unwell um, but yeah I'm just starting to dry up a bit and I feel like I have talked for ages and I am now worrying because I feel like this video is not going to be out in time by tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. I'm doing the best I can. But I know punctuality is important because, hey, you need to be consistent, especially with YouTube. If you're not consistent, then you're going to upset a lot of people. Except my like really close fans who love me regardless of whatever I do. Thank you. But look. I am more positive and more smiley and more happy because I feel like things are just starting to look up and yeah I, I'm feeling so much better that I'm actually feeling this way because yeah I haven't felt this way for quite a while so again I really want to share my appreciation for all the support that you have given me through such a tough period in my time because my mental health really has deteriorated at a time um, and I will probably talk about it uh, to kind of get some demons off my chest but for now we'll just leave it at that anyway <laughs> I think we are going to end this episode off here and if you did enjoy it then you know what I'm going to say it I'm going to say it I'm going to say it there yeah somewhere around it unless like youtube decides to change everything but leave a like leave a like right there and if you like me and my content subscribe is there anything else oh if, i mean you could comment as well maybe comment as well because sometimes a comment it means i can potentially reply i mean i because I'm such a small YouTuber, I will see pretty much everyone's comments. Unless YouTube does that really weird thing where basically, like, some comments get deleted or somebody deletes their Google account or something. I don't know. Like, there are some messages that I receive that I never get to see because the comments can't be found. And it's like, what? <laughs> So I don't know why it does that sometimes. Uh, maybe it's just like it pulls out words. I've tried everything in my power to like stop that from happening. But yeah, nothing I, I can do about it. Otherwise, I've been Rebecca Markel. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.